May I request you all to rise for the national anthem? You may now take your seats. Thank you. Ni Sambula, Namaste, and a very warm welcome to our Honorable Prime Minister, Sadhguru, dignitaries seated on the dais, government ministers, members of the parliament, members of the diplomatic corps, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, and the beautiful children who have received free heart surgeries and are seated here today. I am honored and humbled to welcome you all to the first anniversary of the Sri Setya Sai Sanjeevni Children's Hospital, Fiji. We are very honored by the presence of our chief guests and dignitaries seated on the dais. We would like to welcome each one of them with our traditional Fijian garland. We would like to welcome our very dear Prime Minister, Honorable Sitiveni Rambuka. Please also welcome Sadhguru Sri Madhusudan Sai, global humanitarian and social service leader and the founder of Sai Sanjeevni Children's Hospital, Fiji. We welcome Mrs. Sulueti Rambuka. Sri B. N. Narasimamurthy, Chancellor of Sri Satya Sai University for Human Excellence, India. Mr. Isaac Tigret, the original founder of the Hard Rock Cafe. And Mr. Mahendra Tapu, chairman of Sai Prema Foundation, Fiji. My name is Dr. Kripali Tapu, Director of the Sai Sanjeevni Children's Hospital, and I'm honored to be standing here before you to give you an overview of the incredible journey of the Sai Sanjeevni Children's Hospital. The Sai Sanjeevni Children's Hospital is South Pacific's first super specialist, state-of-the-art pediatric cardiac hospital located in Suva, Fiji. The idea of the hospital was envisioned by our founder, Sadhguru Sri Madhusudan Sai, and despite many obstacles and challenges, including the COVID-19 pandemic, this hospital was built through the generosity and kindness of individuals from around the world who felt for the cause. Many asked us, 
Why we were building a children's heart hospital when we do not have a well-established adult cardiac program? But how can we not help these innocent children who were born with a defect in their heart by no fault of theirs? Can you imagine the plight of a parent who knows that treatment is available in the world, yet they cannot access it because they cannot afford it. Our dear Sadhguru and we as individuals in Sai Prema Foundation Fiji realized that this is a very unfair proposition which has fallen upon the people of Fiji and the South Pacific Islands. Therefore, this hospital was created with the one vision to alleviate the suffering of the children of Fiji and the Pacific and their parents and ensure that no financial burden befalls upon them. The vision of the hospital is to emerge and become the most important pediatric cardiac care center for Fiji and the South Pacific Islands. In the years before this hospital was inaugurated, 73 lives were saved by our visiting teams from around the world. In this short span of one year, 141 children have received life-saving heart surgeries. <laughs> giving them a new gift of life. Ladies and gentlemen, as of yesterday, 214 lives have been saved. And these are not just 214 lives. These are 214 families, mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, grandmothers, grandfathers, uncles and aunties who have been given hope, faith, and have experienced joy, and most of all, love. This is the power of goodness. This is the power of humanity. And this is what we can achieve when the core principle of our existence is based on a foundation of love. When there is love, nothing stands in its way. Love conquers all. The hospital has been privileged to host six visiting teams over the course of the year. Teams from the United States, National University Hospital Singapore, Sanjeevani Hospitals India, Hearts for Kids team from Starship Hospital in New Zealand. They have all volunteered their time to operate on our children with congenital heart disease. Many defects have been operated on, including PDAs, ventricular septal defects, where there, uh, there's a lesion in the bottom chambers of the heart, atrial septal defects, when you have holes in the top chambers of the heart, tetralogy of fallow, where there are four abnormalities in the heart, pacemaker insertion for a child with a congenital heart block, uh, a, quite a complicated case, total anomal anomalous pulmonary venous return, AV canal defect repair, pulmonary valvulotomy, mitral valve repair, coarctation of the aorta, and the list continues. As the year progressed, the complexity of the cases also increased, and so much has been achieved. The Sanjeevni team have performed almost 12,000 free echocardiograms in our Children's Heart Screening Center and also in over 20 public health facilities, hospitals and health centers around Viti Levu, Vanua Levu, including Lambasa, Bua, Savusavu, Taviuni and Levuka. What is amazing is that the heart screening has reached beyond the borders of Fiji to the Solomon Islands and Kiribati. Our team has gone to these countries to screen the children and identify children who need surgeries. From the 17th to the 24th of April, 25 life-saving surgeries have been conducted by our visiting team from the United States, Australia, India, Oman, and New Zealand, and many of them are seated here today. A huge round of applause for all of them. A 
other than, other than the children from Fiji, nine children from the Solomon Islands had their heart surgeries, and four children from Kiribati were also recipients of heart surgeries. We are very grateful to our revered founder, Sadhguru Sri Madhusudan Sai, for his vision and mission of selfless love and selfless service, which is being carried out throughout the world. And of course, in our beloved Fiji. We will now have a short video presentation about this mission. Thank you. Sadhguru Sri Madhusudan Sai is a global humanitarian and spiritual leader inspired by the ideals of love and service of Sri Satya Sai Baba. Since 2011, Sadhguru Sri Madhusudan Sai has been spearheading a unique global mission of service and spirituality across 33 countries to provide for everyone's basic needs of nutrition, education and healthcare without charging a penny, but to give it sincerely, abundantly and selflessly as befits every human's right to the right quality and right quantity of these public services. Especially protecting the most vulnerable section of the society, yet the most important facet, the children, has been the primary focus of all the humanitarian activities undertaken by Sadhguru. It is for the same reason that the tiny island nation of Fiji was chosen to embrace its needy children and adults with the formation of Sai Prema Foundation in the year 2016. One of the primary causes of infant mortality worldwide is congenital heart diseases. Congenital disorders afflict approximately 0.8% to 12% of live births worldwide. According to the World Health Organization, one in every 100 children born globally is affected by congenital heart disease. This equates to approximately 200 children in Fiji and 2,500 in the Pacific. Sai Prema Foundation resolved to address this concern by planning and executing a three-phased Medicare mission in Fiji. The first phase was the establishment of the Sri Satya Sai Sanjeevni Medical Center in collaboration with the government of Fiji in April 2018. As of April 2023, over 23,000 patients have been served at the medical center with free general and specialist medical consultations and treatments, as well as free medication. The second phase was the launch of South Pacific's first Sri Satya Sai Sanjeevani Children's Heart Screening Center in April 2019. This is a free facility that offers children's heart screening using the latest in technology 4D General Electric Echocardiogram Machine. This center has so far screened over 11,000 children from Fiji Islands. The third phase was the establishment of South Pacific's first state-of-the-art 54-bedded pediatric cardiac hospital, Sri Satya Sai Sanjeevni Children's Heart Hospital in April 2022. This is the largest project ever undertaken by a non-government organization in the history of Fiji. The hospital is filling the void of absolutely no access to pediatric cardiac service in the Pacific Belt and will save families needing to take their children overseas for pediatric heart care, which costs in excess of Fiji dollars 100,000. On the 2nd February 2023, the Sanjeevani Fiji Hospital hit a century for completing 100 free life-saving heart surgeries on children. The occasion was celebrated by the Prime Minister of Fiji, Honorable Siti Veni Rabuka, and his wife, Mrs. Sulueti Rabuka. In fact, the Sai Prema Foundation did not wait until April 2022 to help the children of Fiji suffering from congenital heart defects. It collaborated with its sister organization, the Sanjeevani Hospitals in India, to conduct medical missions in Fiji from 2016 to 2019, during which time 73 children were saved. In total, 200 children have been provided with life-saving free heart surgeries as of April 2023. These children have been bestowed with a new gift of life and their families have been given relief, a renewed sense of hope and most importantly, faith in humanity. In order to strengthen medical education alongside medical care, Sadhguru Sri Madhusudan Sai has founded India's first totally free medical college Sri Madhusudan Sai Institute of Medical Sciences and Research. The college was inaugurated by the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, 
on 25th March 2023 at the state of Karnataka in India. Shri Madhusudan Sai has also been the guiding light of Sai Prema Foundation ever since its inception. The foundation take up varied activities in healthcare, education and nutrition and was active even through the pandemic. Some of the service initiatives include 1. A free medical scholarship for training Fijian surgeons and doctors in the discipline of pediatric cardiology. 2. Help in Kind A disaster relief initiative for the people of Fiji in partnership with the Fiji National Disaster Management Office and Fiji Council of Social Services. 3. Health on Wheels, an outreach program to the rural villages of Fiji. 4. Heartbeat, a child heart screening initiative in the rural villages of Fiji. 5. Sai Annapurna, providing free monthly grocery packs to the underprivileged and needy families and to elderly care, special care and orphanage institutions. Over 3 million meals have been served through the provision of grocery ration packs till date. 6. Be a Hero a weekly blood collection drive across the towns and cities of Fiji in association with the Ministry of Health, Fiji, National Blood Service and the Fiji Red Cross. It has been declared that Sai Prema Foundation is officially the highest collector of blood nationally. 7. Children of God Looking after the well-being of children, orphaned, disadvantaged, discriminated and special children who are challenged visually, physically and have hearing disabilities. 8. You are not alone. A mental health awareness initiative. 9. Control D. An initiative for diabetes treatment. 10. Sai Annapurna for animals. An initiative to provide food to animal shelters. 11. Save Mother Earth. An online environmental awareness initiative to educate and motivate Fijians to take greater care of the environment. Sai Prema Foundation has also entered into various collaborative partnerships with institutions such as UNDP, Red Cross, University of the South Pacific, Fiji National University, University of Fiji and over two dozen NGOs. We Care For You is a collaborative partnership with Fiji Army, Navy, police corrections and firefighters to offer them free healthcare services. In an effort to embrace people of all faiths and beliefs, to converge at the lap of nature, soak their hearts in higher spiritual truths and engage their hands to serve the society. South Pacific's first multi-faith center of love and peace and center for human development, located overlooking the seashore and coconut droops at Pacific Harbor. In this togetherness, Sri Madhusudan Sai finds the fulfillment of his mission of one world, one family, wherein all are one connected whole. As I had mentioned earlier, since the 15th of April, we have had a brilliant team um, who have come and operated uh, at the Sri Satyasai Sanjeevani Children's Hospital. And the team uh, comprised of uh, doctors and nurses from the United States, Australia, New Zealand, India, and Oman, led by Dr. Sean Seti, who is a pediatric and adult congenital cardiac surgeon. He's world renowned. He's been awarded the top doctor leader of influence for cardiac surgery by the Los Angeles Business Journal in 2017 and again in 2022. This is his fourth trip to Fiji to come help save the lives of our children. May I now invite Dr. Sean Seti to address us all. Bula Vinaka and Namaste to you all. My respects to Sadhguru Sri Madhusudan Sai, my respects to Prime Minister and Mrs. Prime Minister, Honorable Sitiveni Rabuka, and all of the other dignitaries on stage, and also to the Deputy Prime Ministers sitting here, and also to my brothers and sisters sitting in the audience, but most importantly to the beautiful children that uh, are, are here today from, I believe, this mission and the one from last year, too. So a round of applause to them. I want to 
firstly thank the people of Fiji for allowing us to come in and take care of their children. It's truly an honor to be able to do that. And I think I'm not speaking just for myself, but I'm speaking for all of the teams that have come over the last year. Um, I think we feel the warmth and the love uh, in the country of Fiji, and that transmits into what, what we're able to give the children. It's nice to say that it's been one year, and it's unbelievable to say it's one year, too. So much has happened in that one year. Dr. Kripali was talking about the number of patients that have been operated on. It's truly amazing to me that the six teams that have come uh, in this last year were able to do 141 children. And as also stated, those 141 children transmits to their families and, and to their cities and also to society. We were able to do 25 uh, cases in, in eight days. Uh, we saw a whole host, a variety of congenital heart defects uh, this visit. Tetralogy of Fallot, um, some complex lesions, a complete atrioventricular septal defect in children that were quite symptomatic. So we had a lot of children that were having trouble feeding. We had a lot of children that were having trouble breathing. And we had children who were in stages of becoming end stage. And I'm happy to say that all of those children have had their treatment, all of those children have had their surgeries, and all of those children have done well. It was very heartwarming for our team, and I want to give kudos to our team that's, that's sitting on the side here. It's really because of them that these missions are able to be done. And also to the other teams that have come, it's, it's one big group working together hand in hand to be able to take care of these children. But it was very nice to see on one of the children we had that was having trouble breathing and having trouble feeding, and the child was only six months old. And the fear and trepidation in the parents not having hope and not knowing what to do, it's a very difficult thing to see when they don't have that ability to just walk into a hospital and get treated. And I think the comment from the mother on the first day could have made all of our days. And what she said is, this is the first time that I've seen my baby breathe normally, and this is the first time that I've seen my baby feed normally. And it was also very nice to see several of the children on days two and three after their surgery playing soccer with the balloons on the ward. The center has been really a hand-in-hand -hand, uh, uh, support globally. Um, I want to thank the members from the United States that have really put in the support in the, in the physical infrastructure of the hospital, along with many other global participants, and also to the U.S. for allowing our teams to come. Um, it started last April, and, and once again, we have our teams from the United States uh, this April. And I was, I was very, it was very heartwarming for me last year uh, when we reached out that several of the U.S. companies actually donated equipment to be, for us to be able to use uh, free of charge, and it, to me it showed the love that they had for the Fiji and the South Pacific. But where do we go from here? I think it's a, a remarkable year, it's something I wouldn't have imagined that we would have gotten to, but we also have to plan and look for the future. And I think what we would all like to see is for this center to be self-sustainable, and that starts with training, and that training the healthcare professionals that need to stay here in Fiji and allow, allow this to happen on a daily basis. So that's, that's, that's a commitment we are looking to make uh, over the next few years. And also, as was mentioned before, we're very happy to see actually more than half of our patients were, that were operated on were from other countries. So the Solomon Islands and Kiribati had 13 patients operated on out of our 25. And I think that just speaks to Fiji being a central hub to the whole South Pacific, be able to bring those patients here and be able to help your neighboring countries. Because as stated, this is, we're all in this together. As noted in our conference la uh, that was uh, just finished yesterday, it was the commentary is it's one world and one family. And there's nothing uh, more uh, 
special than, than, than seeing that in action over this last two weeks. I think we're all blessed to be a part of this. I know I feel blessed to be able to be a part of this. I think it's, it's something I want to thank the country of Fiji and also to, to the Sanjeevani healthcare systems. I think it's because of this love and compassion that we're showing to another country that, that allows us to be able to do this. I think we've all become energized when we come here and, and, and go back to our own countries. And I should say that we learn a lot when we come here too. And we, we can take those things that we see here and take those back to our, our own countries. And I think that's what we do here when we come. We're all learning together. And I think that's, that's a lifelong process. So I, I'm going to end with a quote from Mother Teresa. That's one of my favorite quotes. And, and what she said was, not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with great love. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sean, for your selfless service to the children of Fiji, who are eternally grateful to, the, to you for the gift of life. I'd just also like to acknowledge that the U.S. Ambassador, Ms. Marie Demoy, is here today. Um, so thank you for coming, and also to many of the other High Commissioner's Ambassadors who are here. Thank you for your presence today. May I now humbly request the Prime Minister of Fiji, Honorable Sitiveni Rambuka, to address us all on this momentous occasion of the first anniversary of the Sanjeevni Children's Hospital. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Nisam Bulunak. Sadhguru Sri Madhusudan Sai, global humanitarian, global social service leader and founder of uh, Sanjivani Hospitals globally and here in Fiji. Mr. Isaac Tigret, founder of Hard Rock Cafe. Mr. Narshima Murthy, Chancellor of the Sri Chajya Sai University of Human uh, Excellence. The 23-member uh, team of surgeons, and doctors, and specialists from the United States of America, Australia, India, and Oman, led by world-renowned surgeon Dr. Sean Seddy, world-renowned surgeons and specialists who have come to attend the Global Pediatric Cardiac Conference, which was held recently, two days ago. Foundation uh, and uh, the hospital team, Mr. Mayanda Tapu, Mrs. Maya Tapu, Chairman and Founding Trustee of Sai Prema Foundation, Fiji. Mr. Sumit Tapu, I thought you were going to sing to us tonight. Sai Prama Foundation Director and Chairman of Sai Sanjivani Children's Hospital, Dr. Krupali Tapu, Director of Sai Sanjivani Children's Hospital, of trustees and members of the staff of the Sai Prama Foundation Children's Hospital, members of the media, my colleagues from Cabinet, Deputy Prime Ministers, ladies and gentlemen, children and parents. <coughs> Bulabinaka, good evening to you all. Namaste. I thank you all very much for inviting me to be here tonight. My briefing notes state that I'm here to mark the Sanjivani Children's Hospital's first anniversary and preside over the gift of life ceremony for several children who have successfully recovered from surgery. That should make one happy to respond to the invitation. 
In my salutations, I had mentioned individual people and organizations that have been instrumental in the provision of world-class medical care in a state-of-the-art facility located right here in Suva, Fiji. Whilst we are here to celebrate your achievement, it is also poignant that I highlight the successful collaboration of the partners who have identified a gap in the provision of health care and pursued their shared dream of providing children living with congenital heart diseases a second chance at life. The last time I spoke at the Sai San Giovanni Children's Hospital was to mark the 100th surgery. Today I'm pleased to say that 30 more children have since been given a second chance. Science tells us that congenital heart disease is a birth defect common in children who are mostly from rural areas. I was also a child from a rural area, so I consider myself very fortunate to have lived my early years free from life-threatening disease. Now, 75 years later, I'm looking back and wondering what my parents did. The Sai San Giovanni Children's Hospital stand today because of the Sai Prema Foundation, a registered non-profit charitable organization that worked towards building a general outpatient facility that focuses on mother and child care. The 25 million pediatric facility is a matter of great pride as Fiji is the first country, the first country in the region to have such a hospital established. While it serves the children of Fiji, the Sai San Giovanni Children's Hospital has also opened its doors to children from across the Pacific as well. Prior to the opening of this hospital, there was no pediatric cardiac facility available in Fiji, nor in the Pacific, and a family, as we have heard earlier, would have had to pay in the vicinity of more than $100,000 for overseas treatment. It would be remiss of me not to acknowledge the support and the inspiration behind the San Giovanni Children's Hospital and all the humanitarian projects and initiatives in Fiji. Sadhguru Sri Madhusudan Sai, on behalf of the people of Fiji, <coughs> on behalf of the government and all the people, I extend to you a warmest welcome and deepest gratitude. A global humanitarian, I'm told that Sadhguru spearheads a unique global mission across 33 countries and has established institutes of excellence in education, healthcare, nutrition, and spirituality that provide free value-based education to over 5,000 boys and girls. Through his vision of in rural for rural, in rural for rural, there are now 10 hospitals in India and one in Fiji, Sri Lanka, and Nigeria that have collectively and successfully completed 25,000 free pediatric cardiac surgeries. And now we'll have well done. The Sri Satya Sai San Giovanni Pediatric Cardiac Hospitals are the world's largest chain of children's heart care, heart care hospitals without billing counters. Sadhguru, I sincerely thank you 
for your vision to provide this essential medical service absolutely free of cost to all without any discrimination. The Sai Sanjivani Children's Heart Screening Center has diagnosed hundreds of confirmed cases of heart disease since it was established a few years ago. It houses state-of-the-art equipment and, open, and operating theater, intensive care unit, pre-operative and post-operative wards with a training center that has technological capabilities for international video conferencing. I'm also told that Sai Sanjivani Children's Heart Hospital has been recognized by experts to be as good as any hospital in Singapore, Australia, New Zealand, and the United States of America. A hospital is nothing if it is not supported with the right staffing, and I extend my gratitude to the Sai Prema Foundation for bringing in world-renowned international teams of surgeons and pediatric cardiac super specialists from the United States of America, the United Kingdom, Singapore, India, Australia, New Zealand, and from all over the world. To those present here today, thank you most sincerely for your sacrifice to help the most vulnerable, our children. I'm also very pleased to learn that the Sai Prema Foundation has successfully trained a Fijian doctor in India in the specialist area of pediatric cardiology. While we welcome international expertise, it is also it's more important that, we, that our doctors also get the opportunity to learn and share knowledge that would bridge the gap in our exist, existing workforce. Once again, congratulations to everyone who has worked tirelessly to establish the Sai San Giovanni Children's Hospital. And I'm certain so many parents and countless families are so grateful and will keep you in their thanksgiving prayers all the time. Thank you to the Sai Prema Foundation for your leadership in helping more than 6,500 villagers and those in our orphanages and aged care homes and provision of four million meals through the provision of grocery packs to our most vulnerable. I realize that public investment alone will not be sufficient to meet the demands on our aging public health infrastructure. And it is through the support and interventions like yours that greatly impact the effective delivery of essential services to our people. All of you present today or tonight have put into action a successful framework that was, although not your intention, has helped government with much needed infrastructure that not only provides private sector investment, but also service delivery and equipment provision. I walked in tonight and in our holding room so that you don't feel that you've come late. Sadhguru told me, one man and his wife come in with a child, looking very worried, not understanding the child has an illness. They come in and we step up and together we replace that illness because of the we in it, it becomes wellness. Congratulations. I hope that throughout this term, the People's Coalition and all partners present today will continue to leverage off each other, ensuring that at the end of the day, at, at the end of the day, our children and our families are not left behind. I wish you all success and happiness. We now will have done about.
dear Prime Minister, we know how busy your schedule is and how busy you've been, particularly this week. And we are so grateful to you for finding time to be present here today. Your presence means so much to us, so much to the Foundation and to all the children that are here today and all the children of Fiji and the Pacific. Thank you. Before I invite our revered founder to speak, I would like to share with you that he spearheads a unique global mission across 33 countries. Since 2011, Sri Madhusudan Sai has established institutes of excellence in education, healthcare, nutrition, and spirituality across the world. 27 educational campuses, a university in South India, and three institutions abroad, Nigeria, Laos, and Australia are providing free values-based education to over 5,000 boys and girls. In Mudanhali, Karnataka, South India, which is also the epicenter for all the global service activities, a totally free 360-bedded multi-specialty hospital treats over 1,200 patients every day and is also the teaching hospital for the world's first free medical college. The Sri, <laughs> the Sri Madhusudan Sai Institute of Medical Sciences and Research, which, which was inaugurated by the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi. Ten specialty hospitals in India and three hospitals abroad are providing free health care. Over 25,000 free pediatric cardiac surgeries have been done successfully. A morning nutrition program nourishes over 1.2 million school-going children every single day in India and across five countries. All services are offered absolutely free of cost to all without any discrimination. May I now humbly invite Sadhguru, Sri Madhusudan Sai, to enlighten us all. On this very special evening when we celebrate the first anniversary of the Sri Satya Sai Sanjeevani Children's Hospital in Fiji Islands, we are so very honored and privileged to have His Excellency, the Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Rabukaji, with us today, along with uh, some of the members of his cabinet, the Deputy Prime Ministers, Mr. Gavukha and uh, Mr. Biman Prasad with their wives. It's a wonderful occasion, and uh, this means a lot to the foundation and to all of us that you have made time to celebrate this joyous occasion with us, and that shows your solidarity and support for any good work that is being done in Fiji. And we thank you, all of you, especially the Honorable Prime Minister and his wife, to have come all the way, made time for us, and on behalf of all the children, the doctor's team, the people from around the world who are supporting us for this mission and the Sai Prema Foundation's entire team, we thank you very, very much. I was particularly impressed by the Prime Minister's vision for his government when he said, let love shine. I have not heard many political leaders speak of love so openly from a public platform. But he told his people that let love be the way for our country to progress in unity and peace. And love must shine. And when a child is operated and smiles and screams like they are doing right now, it's love shining through all those screams and smiles. When a mother sheds happy tears for having got her baby back in her arms, hale and hearty, in those tears, it's love that shines through. When a father who walks into our hospital with a lot of worries and anxiety, and the burden of guilt that he carries that he could not do enough for his child, and he's all of a sudden unburdened of that guilt, in his relief, it's love alone that shines through. And in the hearts, hands, and heads of all of our staff, all the people, the surgeons, the doctors, the practi medical practitioners, nurses, and every staff, in their hands, hearts, and heads, it's love alone that shines again. 
Our hospital is a labor of love, built painstakingly by the Phi Pema Foundation, but supported out of love by people from around the world. I may not be able to remember and thank all of them, but I know there are hundreds of them who have lent their support to this hospital and on behalf of the organization and on behalf of these wonderful children and their parents who are so grateful and on behalf of all the people of Fiji, I want to thank all of them who have supported this noble cause out of selfless love. <laughs> love is the way and love alone should be the way. And our organization's motto of loving all, serving all perfectly aligns with the Prime Minister's vision of having love as the core fundamental value that should guide all our thoughts and actions. And this shall and remain the core value of Sai Prima Foundation. In fact, in India, I tell our doctors that the day we lose love for our patients, our children, I think that is the day we should shut down all our facilities and not run even for another day. Because love should guide us, not, the not just the technical expertise, not just the infrastructure, but it is love that should be there in our hospitals and that should differentiate us. While we boast of not having a billing counter, not charging the patients, but more than that, I believe that it is pure love, selfless love, that truly differentiates us from any other organization. And that is the core soul of our organization and it must stay in its place. So it is the responsibility of entire foundation to ensure that we always maintain this quality of love above everything else in our organization. And I have seen that love manifest in this hospital through all your wonderful team of doctors, nurses who have come from ar around the world. They are, I'm sure they are very busy people, but they have made time to volunteer here at our hospital out of love. And this is the way we should think of the whole world as one family. I go around telling in every country we are one world and we are one family. We, and how else it should be in a family than to love each other and serve each other? And how can we charge our family member if they are sick or hungry or they need an education? That does not happen within a family. And when we think the whole world is our family, we must treat them with the same love as we would do for our own family members. And definitely there cannot be any financial transaction. I never heard of a mother who cooks, her, cooks breakfast for her child and gives, her a, gives the child a bill at the end of the breakfast. I haven't heard of a mother. So, so also these hospitals should not charge anybody because they all belong to us. And in particular, in Fiji Islands, we have experienced a lot of love, warmth and hospitality. And that is something that really touches our heart. Every time we come to Fiji, we feel we have come home to our people, to our family. And that is the culture of Fiji which must be kept up. So without taking much time, because there are a lot of children, I'm sure they're, they're becoming impatient. They don't like speeches of prime ministers and founders. and They're interested in the gifts that are waiting to be given to them. So I, I, they are the most important people. They are the VVIPs in the room. So I will not keep them waiting anymore. Once again, thanking the Honorable Prime Minister, his wife, all the members of the parliament and the representatives of various countries, I conclude my talk and wish you all the very best. Bula Vinaka, Namaste. Thank you, Sadhguru, for the love that you have showered upon us and the people of Fiji and the South Pacific will forever remain grateful. May I ask the Honourable Prime Minister, Sadhguru and the dignitaries on stage to felicitate the international visiting team. The team worked long hours on a daily basis and a few of them had to return back home so that they could go back to their work. But we do have many of the members of the team who are here and we'd like to felicitate them. As I call out your names, please do come up and get your felicitation. Mr. Sandy Tolentino is a cardiovascular operating room nurse from the Long Beach Medical Center, United States.
Miss Francesca Harris, Pediatric Cardiac Intensive Care Unit Nurse from Stanford Children's Hospital, United States. Ms. Nirali Tucker, Pediatric Cardiac ICU Nurse, Stanford Children's Hospital, United States. Ms. Erin Jenkins, Pediatric Cardiac ICU Nurse, Stanford Children's Hospital, United States. Ms. Rachel Dovell, Pediatric Cardiac ICU Nurse, Stanford Children's Hospital. Ms. Stacy Adams, Pediatric Cardiac ICU Nurse, Stanford Children's Hospital. Ms. Deborah Pegg, Pediatric ICU Cardiac Nurse Educator, Queensland Children's Hospital, Australia. This is Deborah's fourth trip to Fiji. Miss Bianca Tribe Kingston, Pediatric Cardiac ICU Nurse, Queensland Children's Hospital, Australia. Ms. Hannah Timoney, Pediatric Cardiac ICU Nurse, Queensland Children's Hospital, Australia. Mungara Sai Ganesh Raju, cardiac, cardiac sonographer, Sanjeevani Hospitals, India. Ms. Jyoti Gaikwad, Biomedical Engineer, Sanjeevani Hospitals, India.
Jyoti looks very young and slim, but she's an incredible biomedical engineer who can look after all equipment in the hospital. <laughs> Dr. Sean Setti, cardiothoracic surgeon, Miller, Miller Children's Hospital, Long Beach Memorial Hospi Hospital, United States. Now we come to the final part of the evening, which is the gift of life ceremony, where we will celebrate the lives of the children who have undergone life-saving free heart surgeries in the last week. Before we do so, I would like to invite my daughter, Saisha, to sing the gift of life song, which will be accompanied by a visual from the surgeries which have taken place over the last eight days. The song was written and composed by Saisha last year as I had a vision that when the hospital opened, we should have a song to express all that the hospital stands for.
When I call out your names, parents, please bring your child to the stage. We have Ayush Chand, who's four years old, from Fiji. He had a PDA ligation done. He's accompanied by his mother, Ashika. And Ashika will uh, share her experience with us. Um, sorry, I will be taking a little much time, but uh, this is all from my heart. So, um, the Chief Minister, um, Prime Minister of Fiji, Honorable Siti Veni Rambuka. Founder Satguru Shri Matsudan Sai, directors, doctors, staff of Sai Prema Foundations, parents and children. Good evening to you all. I'm very grateful to this hospital for giving me a chance to talk about my child and our experience at Sai Prema Hospital on this special occasion. Firstly, I would like to wish happy anniversary to Sai Prema Foundation of Fiji. You are doing a great work. Congratulations on your achievements. Coming back to Ayush, it was a really heartful moment for us when we came to know that he is suffering from heart problem. It was very tough for us to get along with that, but we are very grateful for Sai Prema Foundation that we did our test over here. Doctors briefly explained what was the problem and how it can be approved operated and on top of that everything will be free of cost. Ayush is very talkative but very understandable person. In short, Ayush got two lives in this life. One which I gave him, other the Sai Prema Foundation have given to him. So I would like to thank every staff, every doctor of Sai Prema Foundation for their hard work, support during my son's operation, surgery. It was, it was very difficult that, uh, it was very difficult for my son to come home, but thank you for this uh, Sai Prema Foundation that my son came happy and healthy. Thank you for everything you have done for my son. You made us feel like home. You're carrying extra comfort to make our patient comfortable and truly remarkable. <sighs> my baby gets a great human heart like you all are doing. Save the world like you are doing. Thank you so much once again for me and my family. Thank you so much. I say thank you. I love you all. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have Rakul Kumar. He's eight months old from Fiji, and uh, Rakul had a tetralogy of fell at a tough repair.
Next, we have Susie Maya Lakima, five years old from Fiji, had an ASD closure and a mitral valve cleft repair. Laniana Navuso, nine years old, from Fiji, ASD closure. Asena Rautha, five years old, from Fiji, tough repair. Joel Nunn, nine years old, from Fiji, VSD closure. Timothy Vasakula, nine months old, VSD closure. Isireli Naviti, 11 months old, from Fiji, VSD closure. Isireli's father, Waisake Naviti, will say a few words. Uh, on behalf of uh, my family, I just want to really acknowledge uh, everyone who's here and uh, just the opportunity to see him smile again. It's a great honor and a privilege and for what the last 11 months, you've been seeing him struggling to smile and struggling to, to breathe. So uh, after the surgery, we were able to see him at least sleep properly. So we, we are really thankful for the Cyprama Foundation Fijian and to everyone and to the 
team, the surgeon team. So I want to say thank you. Metuisela Vonolele, one year old, PDA ligation, and from Fiji. Kiani Maipo, three years old, from Solomon Islands, at a VSD closure. Beverly James, two years old, from Solomon Islands, had a PDA ligation. Donation Alebua, nine years old, from Solomon Islands, at a PDA ligation. Donations Father Dominique will say a few words. Hello, Oketa. Uh, I'm Donations Father. Anyway, I would like to thank uh, those of you who have helped to serve my son's life. I would like to thank those of you who have built this children's hospital. The hospital, of course, is not only for the Fijian, and I'm glad that the Prime Minister has said something on it. So, thank you, Thomas. Uh, my son was fortunate to be on the first group to be here to save his life. So once again, Bagio Tumas. Chris Warren Mari, nine years old, from Solomon Islands and had a VSD closure. Chris has amazing hair.
Scott Puya, seven years old from Solomon Islands, PDA Ligation. Sammy Wayne, four years old from Solomon Islands, had a VSD closure. Wilma Waura, eight years old from Solomon Islands, PDA ligation. Jareen Sulupuri, seven years old, Solomon Islands, PDA ligation. Bea Maya, three years old, from Kiribati, at a TOF repair. Iota Eritio, four years old, from Kiribati, had a VSD closure. Tokaiti Awia, five years old, Kiribati, VSD closure.
and finally Tikombia Katokiao, five years old, from Kiribati, had a PDA ligation. And now Sadhguru would like to offer his gratitude to the Honourable Prime Minister with a traditional felicitation. and also Mrs. Sulueti Rambuka. Beautiful sari for her. And we'll now have a, a cake cutting ceremony. We'll invite all the parents and the children who've had surgery to make their way to the stage. There can be no celebration without a cake and to celebrate the first anniversary. So I invite all the parents and the children to come to the stage and we'll cut the cake. Can I also invite our two Deputy Prime Ministers, Honourable Professor Biman Prasad and Honourable Sir Gavoka to come on stage as well.
Hollywood. So the parents and the children can head down now. <laughs> 